Okay, um, well, this is Haley Bieber, who, of course, is Justin Bieber's wife, who used to be Haley Baldwin, um, and Little Dicky, who is the rapper. I believe his real name is Dave, or is that just that show? Anyways, he's a rapper. But anyways, I believe they're both bulimic. Uh, and they're gonna do some sort of thing where it says, eat Philly cheesesteaks. So let's dissect this video. I haven't seen it yet. Jarvis got it for me. Today we have yet another situation, a Philly cheesesteak situation, so I wonder who that could be. Please help me welcome a very, very special guest, okay, can I stop this Little Dicky. I have to comment on this already, but we gotta go back a little bit because I gotta show this. Right. Okay, so already, I can't stand that this is in the bathroom. I mean, it's just, ugh, I find that so appalling. She does these things in the bathroom, which is so weird because um, she's bulimic. Model cannot eat what she's eating even just in these things she's showing. The last one we had watched, the girls ate um, these huge po' boy sandwiches, and then Sundays with just chocolate and sprinkles and caramel and three different types of ice cream. So the reason why I stopped this one already is, as you can see, she is already like putting on weight because when you're bulimic, even though you're throwing up, you're absorbing the sugar. So she's starting to dress, really hiding her body. So Haley Bieber is a model, but on a daily basis, she probably isn't feeling very good because she's putting on weight. So she's literally in like, I don't even know, the biggest jacket I've ever seen. We're not seeing like any of her body for someone who's a model. And it's also when you're binging, you want to wear that kind of stuff too because your belly gets bloated while you eat all that before you throw up. So her attire just speaks, just screams bulimia. So just watch that. <laughs> So, uh... Welcome! Hey. Thank you for coming and being in my bathroom. Thank you for having me. Wow, what a bathroom. It ain't bad for I a bathroom. I literally matched the... And, wow. We actually... Totally unplanned. Hello. Totally unplanned. And I feel like this is incredible. See, there's both in like these huge it. sweatshirts. We didn't. I don't, don't let them think that. Because we didn't. And this is natural. And this is synergistic. And they deserve to know the truth. And we're going to be honest on the show today. You're right. Since you're from Philly, we wanted to do... <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> we not a northeast do. grit in the house. <laughs> we have the Philly cheesesteaks, because you're from Philly. Yeah. I don't know a ton about Philly cheesesteaks. Okay, well, I know everything. Okay, so take yeah. me take me through it. In this situation, with the hand I was dealt, which is this plate uh, of meat. <laughs> in a bathroom. Bread, you know, I feel like this might have been sitting out for a little while. And I just want to make sure that... No, no, fresh, all fresh. Okay. Extremely fresh. Okay. Talk to me about growing up in Philly. Great friends, great parents. So I was like, I didn't have anything to really be unhappy about, but I do feel like they're... Okay, if you kind of hear, it's hard to tell because both of these people are pretty young, but their voices are starting to get kind of hoarse. And my voice is hoarse because I was bulimic for like 15 years, and it's my voice is starting to recover, but the longer you're bulimic, the more hoarse your voice will get because it's just daily putting strain on your vocal cords from the vomiting. And so the young actors and singers and models, whatever, still might sound okay, but when you start to watch the shows and things of the older people, you'll notice it more and more, but I'm starting to already hear it with Little Dicky and Haley uh, Bieber here. I think they're both bulimic, not just her. He is too. I can't believe, like, these are models. They, and they're just in sweatshirts and, and huge jackets now. How because... am I supposed to dress this beautiful Philly cheesesteak? Okay. Because, you, uh, you know, I'm not here often. I'm going to go harder than normal. I'm going to put whiz on the top of the of the bun. What is whiz, technically? Man, I don't know. Like it's just... like liquid cheese. It's just, okay, that's it's kind of, terrible. It's like that is you shouldn't even talk about like, what it actually is. <laughs> Go like this, and I'm going to lather sugar. the yep. top, With... and I'm going to just okay, soak so the they drips. Okay, so they're acting like, okay, this is really annoying. Why is that even going through? Um, they're acting like a Philly cheesesteak is something like unique or like hard to make or a fine cuisine. I mean, it's disgusting cheese. Like that cheese that's like fake cheese. It's not even like, I don't even know what it is. Um, 
the, the, the stuff that's the slices, that stuff is like, it's, if you guys touch that stuff, it's that waxy, disgusting cheese. Yeah, fork. we're working on the crest. That is the upper half. Pretty soon, I will begin working on the main ridge, which is the body of the cheesesteak. Wow, you really, that's a lot of cheese, so. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted by how funny you are. Well, okay, right there, he even noticed, see, a bulimic will put so much food and stuff and condiments that even little Dickie noticed how much Haley put. She's unaware how much she puts because she's so addicted and she's been a bulimic for a lot of years. So what happens is you kind of lose touch on like what's even a normal amount of food to eat because you're just constantly binging. And I've noticed that a couple times people have commented to her and she tries to slough it off like, oh, I didn't notice. She is only saying that because she's on camera. If she was at home, she'd be slathering on even more cheese. She'd be just dousing it because that's what bulimics do. Bulimics are about literally about the most food you can consume because it's easier to vomit the more you consume. And also you're constantly starving because you're constantly vomiting. So your body, as soon as you start eating, it's just like you're in the starvation mode. So you just like go nuts on the foods and you overeat, you slather everything with condiments because that makes it easier to vomit too. And it's just, it's just this like, intense quickness of like needing to just get as much food into your body as possible like you take huge bites she always takes the biggest bite so let's see what she does because uh, you know my reputation's on the line here too okay. grab the american cheese and normally like you just throw it on but me no on I'm top of cheese. size and geometry this is and, like, so and the many calories the, the ridges so, so much the ridge is this long just to so much piece. fat and uh we're not gonna waste it you're gonna eat the other um seven and so of much it. dairy <laughs> once we cut Okay, dairy, dairy is horrible for humans. It is actually uh, not supposed to be consumed by humans at all. It's for um, cows. It's also a sugar. So anything um, other than meat is a sugar. People think sugar is just sugar. No, anything that has carbs is sugar. So if it's not meat, then it's sugar. So if it's dairy, if it's any sort of um, condiment, if it's a bread, if it's um, in, basically anything, the, the fruits, the veggies, anything other than meat is sugar. And especially a lot of times, the women throw up a lot more often than the men. Um, just because often women don't have very many hobbies. They Their main hobby is cooking. It, it's weird. Like, it's the weirdest thing. They always want to be cooking and, and or, or coffee or getting together, you know, whatever. Where men often are doing a, a lot of other things, activities, you know, playing golf and sports and stuff. You often... Because we don't waste food in this bathroom. Nope. There is a toaster. This is not a prop. This is for real. But this is, this okay. is a for real toaster. I'm, I'm going to fire it up. Okay, preheat so it. Toast or bake? I would do bake. Okay. Okay. Yep. And we're going to um, we're gonna sit and chit chat while it cooks. And okay. I kind of just like, turned all the knobs on. Like, I hate I just, that they do this. We didn't. And this is natural. And this is sin we didn't. And this is natural. And this is synergistic. And it so I really hate that they do this in the bathroom because. It's almost like um, mocking the whole eating disorder thing because, like, the, the thing is, we they're gonna vomit it, and so they're filming it in the bathroom, which it, it's weird. Like, for one thing, like, I find that very disgusting to eat food in the bathroom. I don't care if it's the cleanest bathroom, and I'm sure it is because it's Haley Bieber's bathroom. I'm sure they, you know, sanitize it and stuff. But it's just a weird thing. Like, who wants to eat in the bathroom? But bulimics have no problem with that because they spend so much time in there anyways. But most people, like, I think they think, oh, that's so funny. But it's also one of those kind of, like, Freudian slips because it's, like, or it's not even a Freudian slip. It's, like, for all the bulimics out there, hey, you know, here's, yeah, we're eating in the bathroom because we're going to vomit in a couple minutes anyway. So it just really irritates me that they do this whole thing in the bathroom. And she's got toaster oven in the bathroom. I mean, it's ridiculous. Okay, okay so take, yeah. me, take me through it. In this situation, with the hand I was dealt, which is okay, this plate. Okay, I backwards. Uh, <laughs> get with it. good with the settings on it. It's like at the perfect time. I didn't have to, like, spend it. I accidentally energy. farted. So here we go. Ah! It's just like... <laughs> okay. okay, now we're going to cut our oh, cheese Oh, gosh, she's half. getting fat. Oh, man. They share her body for a second. Look at it's not that. a perforated knife, so it's going to take a little bit. Like, Haley should be really small. Okay, let's eat really these cheese sticks. The I'm going to have one. She's really putting on the weight because of what she's eating because even though she's vomiting, you still digest the sugar. So the more she's doing these shows and just like, I mean, That's even right. on here ah, I'm seeing the amount she's eating. <laughs> Let's say she doesn't even eat more than what I see on these shows. Even this amount 
I can see why she's putting on the weight um, because even if she vomits, like it's so much sugar on just the ones I'm seeing on YouTube. And that guaranteed a bulimic eats a million times more than that. So as you see, she has her pants up super high, which is the new thing everyone's doing to hide their stomach. They literally have their uh, pants almost up to their boobs. It's like right there. And then she has a top kind of like mine, but she has her pants so high, like uh, almost like how, um, uh, 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 Urkel used to have his pants and then this huge jacket I mean it's just huge it's like a it's like a 3x large um, a just monster jacket and that's what her and Justin wear is these monster clothes to hide that they cuz see you feel smaller when you're in huge clothes and everyone thinks you're smaller but um, if you're feeling fat you put on big clothes and it makes you look smaller because people go oh you must be small under all those huge clothes but she's getting bigger under all those huge clothes and even you say oh she's still modeling into the even if you start to notice the modeling poses they hide in the modeling poses now too they do very modeling has gotten so extreme of like weird stuff just to really hide the body ridiculous outfits like huge feathery things all kinds of stuff so I would love to see a model showing their body but now they instead want to show eating in their bathroom more of this. Okay. Now we're going to cut our cheese sticks in half. It's not a perforated knife, so it's going to take a little bit. Okay, let's eat these cheese sticks. I'm going to have one bite and then talk about it. So the ketchup doesn't come in yet? No, you're right. Let's just put a little on the side. I ketchup? think our first bite should not should be ketchup. Oh my gosh. Free. Okay. Ketchup because is so much sugar. Ketchup. Okay. And why so would you have that free. with that sandwich? Yeah. It already has so much cheese and then ketchup on top of it. I feel great about this. It's honestly so good. It's really good. Wow. I'm not even kidding. I feel very good about this. I put cheese on a bun and threw it in this. No, but you know what? You put your energy into this, and I feel like it made it more special. Thank you. Oh, it's so good. The it's ketchup just, brings a different vibe. Look at her just dipping in all the ketchup. I mean, her quotes are always something about food. I read that you said the most... All of her quotes are always about food and here's the thing ketchup is all sugar ketchup is w probably one of the highest sugar content condiments out there because really all it is is sugar I mean it's they literally so we watched a documentary on when they made ketchup and how they figured out how to make people actually enjoy it was they added sugar no one liked it until they added sugar to ketchup so it's interesting that every quote they get from Haley is always things like like extremely food related like the ketchup brings a different vibe the last one uh, last time was what does this mouth do it eats po boys I'm like you are a celebrity that has a voice and all you're just talking about is food I mean it's like aren't there more important things in the world than talking about Philly cheesesteak sandwiches in your bathroom I read that you said the most important thing you've ever done was your song Earth I do feel like uh, there's nothing more important than like the ability to like be able to live and like inhabit the planet what's happening people think that maybe it's up for debate about like is this real or not but it's not like it's totally like no, a factual yeah. scientific thing and I feel like a lot of people are not really taking it seriously because they're thinking well it's not gonna affect me it's gonna affect something in my life not in my lifetime and I don't have to worry about it but the reality is it's actually affecting things right now you see it all these hurricanes and storms it's like ha okay they're talking like 100 miles an hour because they just jacked themselves up on sugar so sugar gives people that this is speedy energy and um they may have even just vomited so um it, there's two extremes that happen with bulimics one thing they get jacked up right before they eat because they're very excited they get jacked up while they're eating because they get the euphoria from the sugar and then they also get jacked up immediately after vomiting because vomiting is a high to them and it gives them the euphoria as well and they feel great because they just release what they think all that food it's like this like it's like this you feel wow you feel like so superior to everybody because oh other people are getting fat well i was able to eat and like be thin so it's like they get this real high higher than life um think they're better than everyone but then they start to also feel a little bit uh self-conscious because they're talking about wastefulness while they're literally vomiting food and earlier in this they even said something about we don't waste any food here uh no we just eat it and then vomit it 
thing now. If my purpose in life is to do anything, it's probably to like do the most good I could possibly do. Right now is actually the point in time where humanity actually has the ability to maybe save the world, or like totally let it be f***ed. It's like happened yeah. to be like all of time has led us to this moment where we're the humans that are actually there for the that, moment. That like have to make a difference. Yeah, in and order. it's like it's just embarrassing to not. No, but but they're not really worried about the planet because. If they're worried about the planet with their voice, they could be educating people on diet and stuff, but instead they're lying to everybody. And they're acting like that they eat this food and they're talking about wastefulness while they literally eat and vomit all day long, which is just the epitome of waste and greed and selfishness. And also, um, you know, it's kind of not right because other people, if they were to do what these celebrities do, they would go broke. And I know I did that, whereas these celebrities have so much money that they can binge all day and like, oh yeah, and then talk about, oh, let's save the planet. While other people are literally want to look like the celeb, are doing everything to be like, oh, I'm eating. I see other people will do, let me do the Haley Bieber diet. So they'll eat this and then if they finally figure out, oh, she's throwing up, then they do that. But then they go broke trying to even just buy the food to be like the celeb where the celeb had food they have enough money for that that's the last of their concerns that's why they're like oh they don't even worry about wastefulness of that where other people are literally starving or trying to make money for food they are vomiting their food they're just flushing money down the toilet um and then they talk about that we're destroying the environment but do you realize that one of the most destructive things in the environment is the production of some of this food, like it's using so much water, especially things like even almonds and stuff, use so much water. Well, bulimics will consume copious amounts of things like almond butter, almond milk, um, and um, just straight almonds and things like this, where like someone would normally eat a very small amount of these kind of precious um, nuts, a bulimic could gob down globs of this I know I've done it and those things individually use so much water that's why we're having droughts in California of just just almonds for example but then the attack on every other thing they're consuming the production of it that even if it's a package thing they have a factory and there's so much waste and use um, you uh, how do you say uh, needing to use the environment to make the stuff that they're flushing down the toilet and then they talk about that future generations aren't going to have anything primarily because of the bulimics yeah i feel hopeful because i see this like new generation of young people coming up and i do feel like they really care they get it for sure they yeah. get it there's hope but we can't rest on the hope you have to right. put it into action yeah i agree now so never they've already vomited here i don't know if you guys noticed this is pretty funny so they're already now kind of like, they, they were up for a minute, uh, but now they're kind of getting tired and they want to probably eat again. They'll probably bring out some dessert soon, I, bet, I imagine. But if you notice, they ate everything on their plate, but what they've done is they put just some pieces of bread on their plates to make it look like they still have their food. But they mowed down those sandwiches and then they went and vomited. So they're trying to make it look like they're still in the middle of eating, but they've already had a binge that shit. Because if you look, this bread has nothing in it. It's just bread sitting on their plates. Watch. Come on, step up. I would like to move into another segment here See, where we talk just bread. about skincare. There's no I'm right. really into skincare. In there. They already ate their sandwiches. It's been a, uh, it's been a journey. They just put bread like, to make it look like they're in the all, middle. I'm ready to talk about well, let's but they already ate and yeah, like this wrapped up. Too, this is great. Okay, great. But man, the, the uh, Philly cheesesteak with that amount of cheese and ketchup. Yeah, okay, so that was They didn't do dessert on this one. Her last one she did like Sundays at the end, so I wasn't sure. But even the amount of food that I've seen Hailey Bieber just consume hey guys, on YouTube um, tells me she's bulimic because no model could consume just the amount I've seen that she's posted. Now that's nowhere near the amount of food she's consumed. So I'm saying just in what I've seen posted, it is impossible for her to be that size without vomiting because you can't eat that food and be a model. It's just, it is not This is the possible. air outside. It's not possible. 
you show the little shorties how you pump them down. Not to I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed. I'm not amused. I'm not confused. I'm not to do. I'm a grown man business. I am not in school. Put your hand down, youngin'. This is not for you. I'm my J.O., my deep with the Kanye, yo. Your name on the marquee, your name off the payroll. Style fresh, like I'm still a day yo, and it's been like that since the day yo. On more time than a Rolly or Seiko. Step on deck, your neck, or do what I say so. Get, get up or get, get out, get down and lay low. Shadows, 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 shadows. Open Jedi, black Jedi. Let's move. Shout out to my man Kelly Kwame. We on top. Shout out, shout out. Check it out. Check it out. Slim Jedi. The cast a big shadow. Cherokee red to shoot the long arrow. Got more skill, more aim, and more ammo. You can get it all from a big or small barrel like Hail Mary, full of grace. Jedi. Come and shoot up the place and make you pull up your face to death. I pull out the ace from the jungles of the Empire State where there ain't no escape. Four, seven. Seven. seven one eight and that's like every, every night, night every, every day from the place that i settle and say to the states so i'm collecting my pay last off and i'm back to the cave hold it down for my family straight representing in a family, family way, way. Football, not for amateur play been raw since an amateur state before, before the press and the cameras raised like a long time out of the way we want to stand in the street yeah yeah no doubt excellence And that's what it is, you see. 